Reese Gaines is best known as one of the University of Louisville's top players of all time. He was drafted in the first round of the NBA, and he was a hero to some of us. Now Reese is an assistant coach here at Bellarmine University, but he's still remembered as being that guy for U of L. I took this opportunity to get my own jersey signed. It, it feels strange. I, I never thought that uh, you know, ten years from now, people will still remember what uh, what our team did and accomplished. Um, but it definitely feels great. I mean, this is the fans here are always so supportive, They're always so so good, and it kind of made my college experience the you know the best it, 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 could, it could be because of the support of the, the U of L fans and the whole community and the whole city. So it definitely feels good to, uh, to be appreciated about you know, the work and the hard work you put in. Reese was a role model to some of the players like Chris Dow. It adds a new dynamic to the team and respect is still there even though he's still learning as a coach. I mean, it's, 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 really, it's really great, you know, um, some of you have respect for it. Actually, you know, when it's a player and you've seen a play, you know what he can do and what he's capable of. Uh, it's, it's a greater respect, so it's, it's really nice to have him as a coach. He could teach me a lot of things. Well, it, it won't be any difference. The difference will be, you know, Reese is now given back to the game and to the, our players just as he gave to his teammates as a player. That's why he's going to be a great coach. Somebody asked me initially why I thought he was going to be a great coach, and that, that answer is very simple. That's Mr. and Mrs. Clyde and Carla Gaines. That's why. Reese's parents are very, very special people, and that goes back to the recruiting process. But just as a player, he gave to his team. As a coach, he'll give to the young people he's coaching. Reese will embrace learning. As a player, you got to understand, Reese had the most personal pride of anybody, as much personal pride as anybody I've ever coached. If you told Reese this math class, look Reese, get it two to three days a week, make a C, this instructor's tough, you're gonna have to do, he's making a B. He, he's gonna make a B. As a coach, you know, as, and then as a player, if you told Reese, look, this Dwayne Wade averages 22 a game, Reese, let's just do the best we can. Oh, he's going to go out there and lock him down. Because he had so much personal pride. I think what will happen in Reese's coaching career is he will be bound and determined to be the best he can be. He has showed it if he's taken the NCAA practice rules test that you must take for, to recruit. He takes that test religiously all day long on the computer. If he's, if he's trying to learn our system, if he'll ask questions in the office, and, and he, his personal pride will elevate him into being a great coach because he wants to be the best he can be. Well, he, Coach Davenport is always, he, he's, he's such a great person, a great guy, that he's always been a positive influence, you know, on the court, but also uh, off the court. You know, you can always talk to him if you needed anything personal, any, you know, anything. You know, he was always going to be in your corner and always going to say something positive to, uh, to lift you up. So he's, he's a great guy. Reese may have been one of the top players for U of L in his playing days, but now he assures us that he's looking forward to playing against the Cards as a coach. <laughs> they got a pretty nice squad, Peyton Siva and those guys, but it's going to be exciting to be, uh, you know, my first time entering the arena is going to be that game, so it's going to be a good experience. But I think our guys are going to be ready. And uh, Coach P, you know, they better look out over there. We've got a nice team over here. Reese is getting tons of respect from Bellarmine students and staff. And he's also getting some respect from a current NBA star. I wish that Bellarmine basketball could take credit. The day that we issued our press release announcing Reese Gaines, that very day, unbeknownst to us, D. Wade's doing a nationwide, worldwide question and answer session on Twitter. And the question comes up, best player you ever played against in college? He says, undoubtedly, Reese Gaines, the very day that we're releasing him as our assistant coach. So it was, couldn't have been choreographed any better. We, we appreciate Dwayne Wade. Bellarmine University now will support D. Wade forever. Well, uh, we should talk when I was uh, first in the NBA, but obviously our careers went in two different directions. <laughs> so as he became more of a star, we talk less and less. But he's a, he's a good guy, and uh, I definitely appreciate his, uh, the tweet, the shout out, man. Appreciate that, D-Wade. We asked Dries about his buzzer beater over D-Wade in 2003 to defeat Marquette and snap their 28-game home win streak. Good game. I remember it. That was probably one of the worst shots I've ever taken, but thank God it went in. I, when I, as I watch it over and over again, I'm thinking, what am I thinking about right now, taking this shot from this deep with that much time on the clock? But at the time, I just knew it was going to go in, and uh, it, luckily it did. 
We were bragging on the big hits of Reese's career, so we had to find out if he still had that magic touch. After the shoot-around, we decided that Reese may just have a few more buzzer beaters left in him. This is Kelsey Duvall reporting.